sexism in the photography world. Of late, I have broken my own rule, which is not to read the Purpleport forums. For those of you who do not know, Purpleport is a website for networking for models and photographers. It's excellent for many, many reasons, and the forum is useful. The reason I don't let myself normally look at it is that there is a type of man on there. I say a type of man, it's basically one man. He appears with lots of different usernames and in fact lots of different names and in fact lots of different appearances. But as far as I can see, it's the same goddamn man, just in lots of guises. And although it may be many, many men, they are remarkably similar. And so I like to imagine it's just one because then I feel less negative about men generally. I love men. I'm married to a man. A lot of my closest friends are men and always have been and I've been very happy in an industry where I meet more men than women. I'm a big fan of men as a rule but Jesus there is a limit and I'm going to tell you about that limit because hello darling I'm talking about fucking men. Do you want to come and join in? I hope come not and join in. other men. <laughs> No. I hope. <laughs> I'm talking about the Purpleport Forum because, as oh, you know, them. I've started. Well, him. <laughs> it's, all, it's all the same guy. More or less. It's like <laughs> TM, Rory. Typical model boy boyfriend. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Rory. There's only about two of them. I don't think any of them are called Rory, but in my head, they're all Rory. So, <laughs> I've been using the Purpleport Forum more because I've been wanting to put up my YouTube videos because it gives me ideas for future YouTube videos. And, and here's the idea I've got because this is my fury. This is my fury <laughs> video. <laughs> Full of beans, and the beans are filled with hate. <laughs> recent forays onto the purple port forum. These are the things I meet a lot from Rory. So the first one is whenever I post anything about finance, which is quite a lot because I think it's a really serious subject and I talk about it a lot on my YouTube channel. And whenever I do that, Rory has two opinions. He will immediately go, oh, oh, well, most models don't make any money. And I think, well, if most models don't make any money, what you mean is the model you book don't make any money. And if they don't make any money, why the f are you not paying them better? That is the first thing I would like to say. Because they probably deserve to make money. If they're like if they're halfway competent you, yes. model. <laughs> <laughs> Two, the other thing, sometimes Rory thinks this at the same time as thinking that internet models are making no money. They also think that we're making thousands and thousands of pounds photographing our vaginas for OnlyFans. It's just our vaginas. We don't bother to get out of bed. We just fucking photograph our vaginas. Oh, we don't put any makeup on. Jesus, no, we don't have any concepts. We don't like Photoshop. No, no, we just lie there photographing our vaginas. You don't even, yes, you don't even have to put makeup on. That was a fake. <laughs> okay, Rory. So the fact is, and I know this because I've been married to my husband, who's a professional photographer who uses Purple Port, but not really on the forums. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> There's a reason for this. Um, so he hires models and for years, for 20 years, he's hired models. And for years and years and years of those 20 years, I've been his rigger. So I'm there at his shoots. As a consequence, we meet professional models. I don't mean a girl who you occasionally get in front of your camera, who sometimes does some modeling. I mean, actual models. And here are some facts about actual models. One, we pay our bloody taxes. One, because most of us are responsible individuals who use the services of this country and want to contribute. But also because most of us are being paid by bank transfer like any other job because it's not the 1950s. We're not being handed a little brown envelope with a couple of shillings for pocket money at the end of the shoot before we trot back home to our breadwinner husband and scrub the front step before cooking him a rizzle. When did you last pay a model by well, cash? Well, I was thinking, I, I can't, can't remember, but if I have paid a model in cash, it's like maybe one in a hundred who I've paid in cash in the last decade. And I think I've been paying more or less everybody by bank transfer for at least 15 years. Because you're a business, right? Yeah, what the hell? You want I, a paper trail? I, I, yes, exactly. They're I a want, business. I want a paper trail, they so want I want to be able to, to show that I've paid my expenses out. Um, and, like, getting cash a fucking inconvenience. I don't want to have hundreds of quids worth of cash. If we're shooting four models in a week, yeah. that's thousands of pounds. I don't want that sitting in cash. And, like, as a model, I don't, I don't want to 
be on a two week tour, I might earn four grand. I don't want that in my purse, mm. Jesus. Anyway, so that's a fact about models. Another fact about the professional models, even sometimes part time, we don't work only with full time models, no. but we work with professional level models who at least sometimes charge for their time. A lot of us have experience in other jobs. We know how the real world works. Yes, we may be younger than you, but we might have had several jobs in our lifetime. We might have sampled self employment, employment, running a limited company. This is not unusual. No. Um, Rory has had the same job for 30 years. Well, that's how it feels a little bit. Yes, um, and has no frigging idea that the employment demographic in this country has changed massively. It's a hugely greater number of people have self-employed jobs and a hugely greater number of people frequently job switch or have multiple jobs at once. Yes. So another thing I would like Rory to know about professional models is we have tax bills, we have accountants, and I'm not the only model who earns more than I'm not. I talk about this stuff more than most people, but I know several models who definitely make over £100,000 a year. And there are plenty of models coming up who are getting to that point. And so the idea that we're sort of, on one hand, only women so living on fresh air yes. and on the other hand these ravening whores who are hoarding cash and not paying any tax both of those things are dated sexist rubbish rory they're rubbish, rubbish. it may be true of some people in any profession yes but it's not true of professional models because if we didn't pay our taxes we would be so vulnerable to investigation because the way we're treated as nude models isn't the best in this world. We encounter discrimination from PayPal, from various banks, economic censorship and we encounter prejudice from people like you Rory. This is from a couple of recent threads on Purpleport where tax was mentioned. Someone said Oh, well, assuming they pay tax, we do pay tax, Rory. And today, oh, well, I think you mean declared income, because I was talking about income. Yes, I do mean declared income. Yes, I do, because we declare our income, which is why we all have accountants. Yes, and furthermore, like anybody, all of these models that he's sneering about who are doing only funds, all of them get paid by wire transfer or cheque or something that goes straight into yep. the bank account. All of them, from all of these platforms, none of them will pay you without an auditable trail no. of paper trail of payments. So again, like you would be extremely foolhardy to take a $5,000 payment every month in from an American company really and think, oh, dumb, I won't really declare dumb. that. Nobody's doing that. Someone might do it at the very beginning of their career. Then they'll yes. meet a professional who will say, Jesus, Jesus don't get do that. Accountant. It's fine, just hand everything to your accountant, end of story. I get this a lot if I post on Purple Port. I get Rory saying, oh, in the real world. We are in the real world. This is a real business. We are earning real money in a real business, just like you are. Which is one of the reasons why you're so mad. Sorry, I think it is. There are new platforms emerging all the time, and at the moment, the big one is OnlyFans. That's the one with the traffic, and that's therefore the one that a lot of models are attracted to. This, I mean, this will change every so often, but smart models at least consider the possibility of adapting every time there is a new platform or every time innovation happens in the industry. After all, sites like Purpleport were an innovation once and the smarter models probably got on them quickly, early adopters. And I'd like to say what an unattractive look it is for you, Rory, when you look at our OnlyFans or whatever it is this month, whatever the popular thing is, and go, oh, oh, it's just photographing your vagina without putting makeup on. Because if my self-shot work is just me photographing my vagina. What's your nude work? Is that just photographing my vagina? Because if that's your attitude to it, I don't want to take my clothes off for you anymore because that's not my attitude to it. It never was my attitude to it. I work with people who I think have a respectful and holistic approach to the human body. I don't just take my vagina to work. Every time I look at the Purple Port forum, I shrink my client list <laughs> by a couple more Rory's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I... I don't want to be negative, I just have been really negative because I'm really angry. I've been working in this industry for 17 precious happy years and I love my photographers. I married one of my photographers. I love this industry and I love the people in it. I'd just like to be respected back and I'd like to see my sister models respected back. 
because when you talk like this about models, like you're talking about all models, oh, I'm assuming they pay their taxes, oh, they just photograph their vaginas, oh, they don't make any money. It's like if you posted about photographers. Oh, how many of you are VAT registered, for example? And if I went, oh, I suppose you mean how many of you are VAT registered and didn't assault a model? Can there just not be some mutual respect and care in our industry? All decent photographers have got some friends who are models, and all decent models have got some friends who are photographers. If we all stop working with you and just do only fans, it will be because of this. Thanks for listening. You have to go and do role play. Okay. Love you very much. I've stuck with this industry for far longer than average for a model and the reason I've done it is because I absolutely love it and I don't think the people who are loudest on photography forums are the people who are booking models the most. I understand that the people saying this rubbish it doesn't represent the industry as a whole but I see enough of it you know I see these same comments coming up over and over again from different people in slightly different contexts I see it so much that I think it looks like a pattern of not really respecting the models who are taking their clothes off for you and honestly that makes me quite sad and it makes me quite scared because I went into this industry with a positive attitude to my body and comfort with being naked and it's not like I've been assaulted over and over and over again but I've been assaulted and you know that didn't stop me I still loved the industry I still loved all the people I worked with who hadn't assaulted me you know which is obviously the vast majority when I see this sort of just it sort of insidious unthinking prejudice it hurts, you know, and I know some people have said you're unusual, you're unusually classy or you're unusually intelligent and the fact is I'm not because I meet a lot of models and certainly they might not have the same accent as me. I went to drama school so my accent changed a lot because we worked on voice and inevitably my, my voice changed. I'm not from you know, a wealthy background or anything like that. I went to state school but I can see that people might get a different impression of me than from a lot of other models. But, you know, I'm not the smartest model I've ever met. There are a lot of impressive, ethical, responsible, tax-paying women in this industry. And seeing stuff like this, I'm not surprised that a lot of them leave the industry prematurely because it grinds you down. I'd say, please, stop this sort of, it's not even locker room talk. It's like 1900s gentlemen's club. It's like you're all in the drones club and you talk about women like this. Nude photography and glamour photography. I think it's only really okay if deep down your attitude to women is decent, is that you see us as equals. If you don't see us as equals, speaking for myself at least, you, you don't get to photograph me because respect for models, respect for women, it's not really negotiable to me. So thanks for listening. I know the people who need to hear it won't listen and the people who are listening to this are probably not guilty of any of this. I suppose what I'd just say to you is ugh, for many, many years I've not said anything when I've seen that kind of sexist backward nonsense but I've started trying to speak up because I figure maybe that's the only way you can actually change stuff so I guess I'd just say to you if you've made it all the way to the end of this video it's because you're a decent human being probably maybe join me in trying to speak up it's it's really uncomfortable I don't know when I'm going to put this video out but I have to because there are 19 year old models joining my industry all the time and I you know I don't want them to be assaulted so I make videos about that but also I just I I don't want them to be disrespected like this. I don't want them to be slut shamed and I don't want you to assume that they're not paying their taxes or they're stupid or that if they do earn money from it it's because they don't care about the art. Whatever assumptions I see, I don't want new young models to have to do this. So this is my attempt to tell myself and to tell you, let's try to knock this fuck twattery on the head. Thanks for listening. Bye.